$2,400 social security increase and what they're now saying. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. I know in this video, I do want to discuss the details of what I've been seeing circling around and what they're now saying in regards to the $2,400 social security increase, otherwise known as the $200 per month raise for millions upon millions of social security beneficiaries. There is some new information circling around out there and that's exactly what I want to cover for you right here in this video. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. First off, if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. It's totally free to do so, and I'm here for you right by your side every single day to help you out in any way that I possibly can, as well as keeping you updated with things that are going on right now as things continue to change very rapidly. Also, as long as you're right down there below the video, make sure to hit the like button and of course share this video with your friends, family, and social media so we can continue to help out as many people as we possibly can during this very busy and confusing time. All right, thanks again. Please subscribe down below and let's get into it and talk about what they're now saying in regards to the $2,400 Social Security increase or $2,400 Social Security boost. And again, this is the $200 per month raise for millions of Social Security beneficiaries. All right, so there's a few pieces of legislation that continue to pop up in Congress and these continue to get a lot of support from many lawmakers out there. Now, quick side note, Bernie Sanders is the architect behind some of these pieces of legislation. And again, as I've said before in other videos, whether you like Bernie Sanders or you don't, again, you gotta watch Bernie Sanders because there's a lot of things that he talks about that actually do happen, okay? So again, like I said, whether you like him, you don't like him, you just keep an eye on him either way. And that's exactly what I do with Bernie Sanders because I always wanna know what he's got up his sleeve. He's always doing something. And if you haven't noticed, he makes a big deal about everything, right? He makes a lot of noise. He acts like this is the one and only and he acts like this is what we got to do right away, right? So Bernie Sanders is notorious for making a lot of noise about things, but then again, he does get a lot of attention, he gets a lot of support, and he does get things done from time to time as well. Probably a lot more than other lawmakers do, considering they don't get a whole lot done for the most part on virtually anything, right? All right, so... Let me talk you through the piece of legislation that are out there in Congress right now. They continue to come up time and time again. They continue to get widespread support from lawmakers in Congress that continue to be brought up on the floor and what all of this actually means because this is actually pretty encouraging stuff, okay? All right, so let me talk you through these pieces of legislation. Now, to be fair, I do have dedicated videos right here on the channel talking about all of these individually, okay? So maybe you've seen the dedicated videos, but let me break these down really quickly. I'm not gonna get into a ton of detail on each of them just because because you know, there's not really a need to. I've covered that before in other videos, but let me break it down and let you know what all of this means because there's actually a push to get all of this done pretty much simultaneously at the same time right away, okay? All right, so number one is the Social Security 2100. Now, this is one that we've heard about many, many times for many years now. This was actually brought up by Representative John Larson. It was reintroduced about a year, year and a half ago or so uh, as the Social Security 2100, a sacred trust. Now, this one continues to come up and he continues to bring this to the floor in the House of Representatives talking about it. And it has hundreds and hundreds of lawmakers that are already on board with this thing that are already supporting this thing, okay? So it certainly does have widespread support. Now, the next two are coming up from a variety of different lawmakers and Bernie Sanders is also included in the group here, okay? So number one is the Social Security Expansion Act. Now, this one, I again, I've talked about it before in other videos. I do have dedicated videos here on the channel talking about it, but let me break it down really quickly. About a year and a half ago, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and other Democratic senators came out and reintroduced this one, the Social Security Expansion Act. This is the one that contains the $200 per month increase to benefits as well as a whole bunch of other changes to Social Security. And again, I've covered that before in other videos. I'm not going to break it down right here on this one. But just remember, that is one that's out there. Now, this was about a year and a half ago when this was brought up. However, uh, during that a year and a half time or so since Bernie Sanders brought this up, he's had private meetings with the president, getting the president on board with this. And we continue to hear him talk about this. And this continues to come up time and time again. And he feels like this is the ultimate solution to reform Social Security and ultimately make this program better at the same time raising benefits for millions of beneficiaries, okay? So this is a pretty important one as well. Now next, let me buzz through this next one really fast here and then I'm gonna wrap this all up and let you know what all of this means considering all these pieces of legislation are coming to the floor, they continue to be introduced, all of these things like this. The next one is the Medicare for All Act of 2023, okay? Now you might be thinking, wait, what does this have to do with raising benefits? It doesn't, okay? This is just the Medicare for All Act of 2023. And again, 
I have other dedicated videos here on the channel talking about this, but this is another one that Bernie Sanders is wildly passionate about, okay? We've heard Bernie Sanders talk about this many, many times before for the last few years here, and now, right now in 2023, again, Bernie Sanders and a bunch of other lawmakers are having this massive push on this thing right now to get the Medicare for All Act of 2023 implemented as soon as possible. All right, now let's wrap all this up together and talk about what all this means and how all of this is coming full circle here because these three things, these three pieces of legislation, these three you know objectives are being talked about a lot in Congress right now and what they want to do with all of these. So basically what the, uh, what the, what the, basically, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, kind of the objective or I don't know, the, the major push right now that they're trying to do with all of this is basically push all of these through simultaneously. Okay. So what they're basically trying to do is they're thinking, Hey, the social security 2100 would change social security massively. The social security expansion act again would also fix up social security, raise benefits and reform the program massively pushing out the insolvency date out into the end of the century out for about 75 years. At the same time, Medicare for all would bring all people, as in all Americans, under one single payer for their health care costs and things like this, Medicare for all, which ultimately, if they were to pass all three of these pieces of legislation at the same time or very close together, they just got a lot of stuff done and they covered virtually every single person in the entire United States, right? So they got everybody covered for you know, healthcare through this Medicare for all push. They raised benefits for fixed income beneficiaries, virtually all beneficiaries for the next 75 years with a $200 increase. And at the same time, they implemented some other major changes and reform to social security through, again, the social security expansion act and the social security 2100, okay? That's what all this is about. So these three pieces. Now, I want to point something out. There are a few different things overlapping between the Social Security 2100 and the Social Security Expansion Act. In fact, a couple of the provisions within there do overlap. So maybe they would bring these two pieces of legislation together and kind of, you know, pull out some of the different provisions within them, combine them or whatever they happen to do to, you know, bring these pieces together and, uh, you know, pass them through at the same time or whatever it happens to be. Maybe they pull out the key provisions within these pieces, these two pieces of legislation here, and they push it all together as just one. Whatever the, uh, the, whatever they plan to do here, this is just what they're talking about, okay? So there's a lot of stuff going on here. To be real though, this is gonna take a lot of effort out of Congress, okay? We all recognize this is gonna take a lot, a lot of work. This is going to take a major push and a lot of effort on their, on their part to get this whole thing done. But can it be done? It certainly can be done, okay? It's not like just because it takes a lot of work, it's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of effort on lawmakers. It doesn't mean they can't do it. They certainly can do anything they just have to do it. They just have to allocate that time and actually spend it and actually do something for the American people. So this is what I've been seeing out there. And again, this is what they continue to talk about. So when it comes down to these lawmakers, this is what they're determining as, you know, kind of the holy grail when it comes down to the United States, as far as taking care of everybody, making sure they're covered adequately with health care uh, coverages through the Medicare for All Act of 2023, encompassing all people here in the United States, as well as reforming fixed income benefits, raising fixed income benefits, taxing higher income individuals, um, you know, adjusting the COLA, raising those benefits up for fixed income beneficiaries, and then of course, pushing out insolvency. It solves a lot of problems all at the same time, okay? You kind of see all that. So it wraps a lot of this all together and it solves like, what, four, five, six problems all simultaneously, all at the same time, according to them anyway, right? There's always different ways that they can, you know, solve different problems and things like that. But this is what they determine as the best solution. So either way, this is what I've been seeing out there in the headlines. And again, I want to bring this to your attention right away so you can see what's going on here and what they're talking about, as well as what their efforts are focused on. Can they get it done? That's the big question. Nobody really knows, okay? We won't really know until we actually get some effort out of them, until they actually start moving forward with this. Now, again, they can work on this, they can get it done, but it's gonna take some time. We all recognize that as well, right? Anyway, so I wanna bring this to your attention. This is what I've been seeing out there. Interesting, but at the same time, if they're gonna do anything, why not do all of it at the same time, right? That would probably be, be the easiest way to do it. As long as they're reforming one thing and just keep going, right? So anyway, as long as they're in there, you know, 
puttering around whatever they're doing, <laughs> it'd just, probably just be best to just uh, fix it all up, you know, at the same time. Anyway, hope this one helps you. Again, leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel with that button right down below the video. Share the video with your friends, family, social media. And again, go back and check out any of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. And I'll catch you again later in the